lost in one of those games where you just kind of had to grind it out and find a way, but it must feel good to find it. Yeah, uh, I mean, not pretty in, by any means, but um, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's not going to be perfect every night. you got to grind through, uh, find different ways to win on any given night, and you know, it's just kind of one of those nights. So, um, you know, big, big extra point for us. Obviously, uh, you know, those uh, those points mean a lot throughout the season, so uh, we'll take it and move on. Were you shooting for the end boards and Michael knocked it in, or were you shooting? What did you make of Willie's effort to like curve high the four points for yeah, it was buzzing. Buzzing just, uh, you know, moving his feet, shooting the puck. Uh, nice for two kind of on that second one, but, I mean, he was just all over it. I thought, uh, you know, we, we did a lot of, you know, we had some good moments tonight. Uh, you know, we had the puck lots and it was and stuff, just trying to attack. And uh, when you have to defend, just trying to defend hard. How big to score or to win one in OT after all the difficulties you guys have Yeah, it feels great. Uh, you know. Get off our backs a little bit uh, <laughs> until the next one and uh, go from there. But yeah, this one feels good for sure. What uh, happened on the uh, play late in the third period where they made you go off the ice and pick up right back on? Start the power uh, I, I guess it's, uh, I didn't know the rule, but I I'm, I'm, guess I'm deemed hurt, so oh. I have to sit. Uh, my, I don't know. I, I've never. I, I don't know the rules, so uh, I just go play, and uh, apparently that's what happened, and it's all good. So uh, it is what it is. Thank you. Thank you. How satisfying was it uh, to win that one? Yeah, it was good. Um, you know, it was a bit of an ugly one there. Um, you know, a little bit too much back and forth. Um, I think it. Uh, you know, I don't think it's good as neutral zone, neutral zone stops as we would like. As we've been doing recently. Um, a little just off timing and D zone as well, but. You know, these are the ones sometimes you got to grind through and get two points from. So, um, just great we stayed with it. Um, great night tonight from Maddie's line, just you know carrying us really and uh, leading the way. What did you make of Willie's game tonight? That yeah, was great. Just controlling the puck, being strong on his feet, doing a lot of cutbacks. You know, really just controlling the puck. And um, as soon as he's feeling it, he's hard to stop out there. So he's uh, he's a lot of fun to watch, a lot of fun to have on your team, and um, he's a difference maker tonight for sure. I'm not sure I've ever seen a standing O for a secondary assistant. As what would that mean to you? Um, yeah, I mean, like I've been saying, um, these fans have been giving me a lot of love here recently, and I'm very thankful for it. Uh, I'm very appreciative, and you know, it's, um, it's a special feeling. Uh, this fan base is always loud for our whole team, really, but um, you know, it's uh, it's a pretty special feeling. But it was a bit of an ugly one, like I'm saying. So I'm just happy we got that two points, and you know, can enjoy the day off now tomorrow. Is that a positive that if it is an ugly one, you guys are still? You know, finding ways to get points given those situations. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't know if I said it, and I said it outside, but um, you know, we just stuck with it, really. Um, you know, we stuck with our, our game plan. Uh, got pucks around the net, guys got a second opportunity, put it in. So um, we just stick to the process. Um, even though it wasn't the prettiest, we still did our thing and just stuck with it the whole way and got rewarded at the end. So it's a great feeling. Uh, we'll watch video on Monday and you know, see what we can improve on. Do you have a thought on how Joey Anderson played this uh, game? I thought he played great. I um, thought he played powerful. Um, made some big hits. Took some hits to get some pucks in. Um, you know, it was a great penalty draw there. Uh, taking it to the net, just beating his man one on one, and uh, he wasn't afraid to take pucks to the net all night and, and be around that net. So uh, I thought he, I thought he came in and, and played a great game for us. How about Dennis with you on that one? Yeah, um, you know, I think. It's a little uncoordinated there, obviously, in the first when he gets that high stick, kind of missing the whole first period, and then kind of get back in the second with some penalties and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, we're still kind of finding the way, but I'm sure we'll get uh, used to each other pretty quickly with his skill and um, his playmaking. How good did that uh, feel for you to have really work at five points? Yeah, um, I mean, Puck was going in, had that lucky on the second one where the DM went in and um, got a few bounces, so, but uh, it's nice. What did you like about how the team was able to fight through this one where maybe you guys weren't quite as good as you were the other day? Yeah, I mean, we battled. I mean, you got to find ways to uh, win games like this, and it was nice to get one in the uh, in team for us. What's it mean for you to kind of assist in helping Mitch get the, the points for you going? Yeah, obviously, it's uh, unreal to see him keep going, and it's nice that uh, he got one early there so he could uh, get the one in the end there, too. Did the guys on the bench recognize the standing O that Mitch got for the secondary assistant? Uh, I, I think a little bit, yeah. Um, but you're so focused, so uh, yeah, but I think we heard a little bit, a little bit of motivation for sure. You've been doing good things since day one of the open of the season. It's really like what you're doing right now, Willie, and the way things are I just uh, focus on skating. I think that's uh, the most important thing for me. And, um, 
that's helping me uh, create space and get chances out there. Do you have a set number of goals you'd like to hit this season? I mean, you're, you're on pace for a career high like, quite a bit. Uh, well, I mean, just want to do better than the year before. Um, always trying to get better. Uh, whatever that number ends up being, I'm not too uh, worried about it right now. Who got the belt tonight? Uh, they gave it to me. Yeah. That's the first time? Yeah, first time. Yeah. Nice. What? That's nice. Nice, nice. What it mean for you to get the win under a crazy game? Yeah, it's a bit of a weird game. Not a ton of flow out there. That team does a nice job of, uh, you know, sitting back and waiting for their opportunities. So, you know, the chances that they got were good ones. So I made it for a difficult game, but we did a heck of a job. I thought again of just sticking with it. And, finding a way in a bit of a messy game to get the two points. What have you learned about William Nylander that you didn't know before you joined this team? I don't know if there's anything I didn't know. I mean, he's he's just a stud. He's um, incredibly gifted. Um, he works hard. I think, you know, I've said this a bunch of times, but he, he just seems to win a ton of 50-50 battles. I think that goes to you know his strength and just his athleticism and, and his uh, his, his dedication to win those battles. And he gets a lot of second pucks, a lot of second chances, and obviously tonight he, he carries our team. And, uh, you know, is basically the reason we get two points. So, uh, yeah, heck of a player. The goal that tripled in, did uh, the ref give you an explanation of what the call was there? Because it looked like it was <coughs> blown before it was. Yeah, he, he, he did give me an explanation. I'll keep that between us. But, um, you, know, I, you know, I'm not exactly familiar with uh, you know the exact wording of the duel there so I'm like I'm like I thought have you happened had that happened ever before? You <clears throat> said it was part of a continuous play. I'm sure that's happened before, yeah. The, the decision to start the three guys you did over time then. Figured Sandy would be the most likely to take a stick in the face. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, listen, we it's no secret that things haven't gone gone well for us in overtime. We've tried a little bit of everything in terms of mixing and matching our, our top four guys and and it hasn't gone well. You know, and, and reality is we've lost to some teams that have taken a little more conservative approach um, off the start. And I think given what we've been through, I, I think we needed to shock the system a little bit and try something entirely different. Describe that game tonight as a bit of a weird one, Sheldon, uneven and you know, that sort of thing that you come up on yeah, side. yeah, I mean obviously we're thrilled that we get the win and, you know, get two points. Um, I thought we did, I thought we still did a lot of good things in the game that help us ensure that we get two points. I thought we did a lot of things that were not good in the game that made the game a lot harder on ourselves than it needed to be. It's been quite some time since that's been the case. But um, you know, I thought today was was not a, a indicative of the type of game we've been playing. and. As a result, the game was chaotic. Seems like is gaining a lot of trust in all situations. Uh, like what particularly impressed you about his game tonight and maybe what you've seen over the last month? Well, I think you can tell, he, you know, the fact that he's played more and he's in more of a groove and, you know, uh, with the injuries, you have less options. So you're just putting him out there. Um, and he's growing on the fly. He's figuring things out and he's being relied upon. I think he's done a nice job. He's, you know, you know everybody... Next playing on the power play and everything is, is just great and easy and all that. It's, that's not easy. It's a challenge, especially playing against a team like this. It puts a lot of pressure on you. They look to score on the penalty kill. Like it's, it's, a, it's a stressful situation to make those decisions and make those plays and execute at a high level at key times. Um, I think those experiences are helping him grow, and, and there's no doubt that he's found a different level in his game here from versus where he was at early in the season. Not like a lot of our team. Or not unlike a lot of our team, I should say, uh, that has really turned the corner here in the last month. What's allowed uh, Willie to be on a bit of different levels? Uh, you know, I think he's he's just been he's been consistent with you know with his play on offense and how he pushes the chances that he generates. I, mean, I think we've over the years we've had this conversation a number of times, and the last season he set kind of a new standard for himself. And uh, I think, as I've said in the past, he's got. A long ways to go still I, you know, in terms of what his potential is and what he can do he's and, and you just see you're seeing that um, and and he's he's producing at a higher clip he's been very consistent to start the season here um, to me you know when we look at it there's you know 
I think Willie can and should be in that top elite tier of players in the league. And he's working his way there. So I think that's, you know, in terms of his play with the puck, that's it. Like all of our players, there's a whole other side of it on the stuff without the puck defensively. And that's a whole other uh, area to discuss and, and talk about. But when it comes to the offense and consistently making plays and helping our team win games, he's been very good there. What's your understanding of the goal that trickled in? Looks like the whistle had gone and they held it. What was your understanding? Yeah, yeah the, the rule's pretty simple. I, I, as soon as I saw it back right away, I said, oh, that's a goal. The, the, the way the, the rule is, is if, if the, if it's a, if, even if the whistle goes, if there's a continuation of the play and the puck lands in the net, it's a goal. If, if that puck stopped on the goal line and they come and poke it, then it's not a goal. That's the way that I understand the rule. So for me, it was pretty straightforward. No sense complaining about it. Just move on. Do you think you nudge Willie less than you used to? Is he is he more of the, the correcting or motivation come from within? Now? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think it's a combination of things. It's a combination of. I mean, he's he's maturing. Um, you know, I think over time you. You get sick of having the coach in your ear all the time, and you want to just you want to get that sorted out yourself before the coach has to come and, and get there. I also think our players internally, uh, amongst themselves, are pushing each other. Those those top guys, they're pushing each other. Um, and like I said, Willie, I think it has potential to be in that top tier. You know, Austin and Mitch have really established themselves in that very exclusive top tier in the league. Willie should be right there hanging with those guys and. Um, he's pushing himself, and then they're all pushing one another, which I think is how, the, how that group gets to even greater heights. It would like that be a little bit of a motivator, given that it came with some hiccups still and some of the past wins have I mean, I think the fact that we've won in different ways is a real good thing. We can be comfortable at and comfortable in different situations. You know, that the game doesn't completely run away on us, right? Like, you know, they didn't get two or three in a row or anything like that where the game's just now out of reach. Like, you're right there. You're a shot away. Um, so we can kind of recover from some of our mistakes here today. But, um, like I said, we've been talking a lot about a you know, a certain process and way to play and, and decisions and taking care of the puck and all of those things that have really set us up for success. And w we weren't that tonight. So, you know, we're not going to get too excited about this one except the fact that points are important. And we, uh, it's very encouraging that we still found a way to get the two points and day off tomorrow, uh, practice day, come back in here again and look to get back to playing the way that we were because today I, I didn't like our game entirely. Yeah, a few games here. How do you feel that Connor Timmons is assimilated into the group? Uh, I think he's done a nice job. Uh, I've liked a lot about his game. I think the game gets really tight today, and you know you start to shorten the bench and, and all those kind of things. A guy like him that hasn't played a ton is going to kind of get caught up in that. But uh, I, I think he's done some good things for us, uh, despite being a guy that hasn't played a lot, hasn't been around our group a lot, hasn't had a lot of practice time to really get comfortable. He's playing with a new partner in, in, in Brody and new teammates and all these things. Um, lots going on for him as a guy that's still really trying to make his mark in the league. But we've been really encouraged with what we've seen. I thought, especially in the back half of the game, he really started to do some good things. I was really encouraged. I thought he made good plays on the breakout on the wall, uh, advanced the play with the puck, uh, got number four check, won some pucks back, obviously generates a huge power play for us in the third period. Uh, very encouraging game for him. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna, he's gonna get opportunity to keep going with us here. With, with our situation and our injuries and all those kind of things and, and how he's played, it's, it's time for us to give him a little, little, uh, little runway here to, to see what he can do. What did you make of the reaction of Mitch's uh, point? Loved it. I love how dialed in our fans are on, I mean, it's, of course, they're dialed in on that, but just in general. I mean, you look at the other night, the reaction to the situation late in the, in the third period, you know, um, with the Engvall situation there and, and, and the LA player uh, tonight. You know, I mean, I didn't really know what, I looked up, I didn't know what happened. Um, and then you quickly learn that, you know, they're, they're really attuned to what's happening. And it's, it's terrific because it's, it's so well-deserved for Mitch. You know I mean, this guy has really been driving the bus for us. Uh, so for him to get that reaction, know that the, the people are behind him, I think is terrific. Thanks,